and Naif Saturday stream. Live music, classic bands, whiskey time, vinyl, celebrities, stunts, explosions, Shaz and John, and everything in between. This is the Saturday Stream, live, live. Welcome to the Saturday stream with myself, Nathan, and this guy over here, Ryan. Hello. Mm. Just wondering why that's frozen on that screen. I oh, know it's all good. I think I think it's just that laptop. Do you know in, you've got that like, that old laptop which you should probably put in the bin, but you've got like an emotional attachment. So like, oh, I did my GCSE coursework on that. Can't throw that out. Um, <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but thank you for joining us. Um, it's Saturday, isn't it? It's lovely just to meet up. This is like a like one of them posh sort of online chat rooms, isn't it? It's just a, it's a chat room, but with a gig. Yeah, <laughs> you could call it that. It is. Yeah, we just say hello. Us two plonkers play some songs. Love all that. Love it. Um. Speaking of songs, let's kick off with one, and um, yeah, then we'll see, see what happens from there. We never really know what's going to happen when we start, to be honest, so it's just, but in, it's a bonus from now on, really. Might do something a bit easier than this first one, I've just realised I haven't played it for about, God knows how many. See, look, we even had a first song planned, and that has changed already. Yeah. Strap yourselves in, folks. Oh, no, let's just do it. It'll go wrong, but yeah. let's do it. Yeah. Sure. We go. We go for the one we haven't played in ages. Yeah. 
That was very, very brave, um, going straight in with... I think the last time we played this, I think Pip recommended it. Recommended it? Uh, well, requested it. My, I think was it that was Raconteurs that she requested. Ah. I think that someone... Yeah. I don't know, I might have that wrong. I think that was someone else. No, but OK. That was months ago, anyway. If it was you, own up. You know you were requesting Blue Orchid. Oh, I just fancied it. No, what? Yeah. I like the white straps. Uh, apparently, even before the, um, the white stripes were like massive, that that red and white thing, like that, they they like lived that. So it, in like Jack's flat, everything was red and white. It, when they were still playing like small clubs and no one had heard of them, yeah, I, th I think I was listening to a podcast with the old Rack and Tears drummer. Yeah, he was an upholsterer, wasn't he? Yeah, oh yeah, he's, that got, was, he's yeah. got his hand on a massive uh, U.S. naval flag would just take up like the whole back wall of the venue. You, you lost that, didn't you? Because you... No, no, I've got oh, a right. naval flag. I'm there. I'm there. Yeah, Pink. off the back of a ship. Mm. Well, there, you like that. So, um... No, let's do another tune before I get, I'll get lost in the saying hello to everyone, and then uh, I'll go off on a tangent again. Can we talk about that? Or do we? Mm. Right, you told me this one had to go in this week, yeah. but I'm not sure why. This one is for Steve Kenyon, and I was a little bit tipsy after last gig, but I'm pretty sure you mentioned this uh, when we spoke afterwards. So if you didn't, it's really random, but it's a lovely song anyway, so, you know, what you gonna do? Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoy it if you did ask for this. Uh, just... <laughs>
muffins in a cake and drink a bottle full of rye Four and two blackbirds in a cake and bake them all in a pie Tell me Just put accounts. Yeah. That's your job, though. That's just. That's just. Mm. Okay. Um. Under weaknesses, you've put eczema. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was handbags and the glad rags, originally by that Rod Stewart. Do we normally have some sort of uh, container which has some sort of liquid in it by this point in the gig? Hmm. Maybe like a, a vase? Yeah, but maybe some sort of see-through vase. See-through vase, and maybe of some kind of exotic drink in it. Shall we have a drink, everyone? Come on, we've all turned up. Hooray! If you haven't got a drink, it's, it's time to get one. This, this is the allocated time to start drinking. It's fine, it's Saturday night. Um, yeah, so uh, let's, let's do what we're all drinking. If you want to comment and put what you're drinking, uh, we'd love to hear what you're on. It doesn't have to be classy. It can be a classic. But, yeah, let's, let's go from there, and we're going to sort ourselves out, so... Good afternoon, everybody. Oh! Hey, Norman. Norman. Sorry, Norm. Thirsty guy walks into a bar. You finish it. <laughs> <laughs> now, Evening. What can I get you? Uh, yeah, can I have um, two pints of lager, please, and a packet of dry roasted peanuts? What are we all drinking tonight? Cheers. Right. Hello. How are we doing? Right. Hello, Katie. Good to see you. All right, Amanda and uh, all the Ward fam. Hello, Nan. Hope you're partying at home. Hello, Kenyon clan. Uh, who else we got? Hello, Lacey. You all right? Phil, thanks for joining us again. <laughs> yeah, Derek's the best about it. Uh, Andy West, all right? Thanks for joining us. It is Anthony. You all right? Oh, drinking Iron Duke. Yeah. Fair. Get in. Uh, Bill's digging. Hello, Bill. Digging handbags on the Glag, glag Race. Yeah, to be fair, right? It was a... Very lovely. Yeah, that was, um, that was a one listen and try and play it job. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I reckon from the amount that we've watched The Office subconsciously, it, some of it must have gone in. I can't believe I didn't get that reference. I've just got The ah. Office. I literally, the penny's just my brain slowing down. Man. Yeah, we. Um, and if you're a fan of The, the Office or, or anything, Ricky Gervais, uh, if you haven't seen the outtakes, the, uh, just YouTube Office outtakes, or in fact, I think he does it for all of his series. Um, the, the, oh, I'll tell you, the outtakes are absolutely genius on it. It's just this laugh. It's, it's, it's like, um, we've, got a, we've got a few red wine. We've got the red wine party in. Andy Hurst on Stella Artois, a man after my own heart. Yes. Darren Carlin, um, on the Hop House 13. So no, I see, oh, I like Hop House. Mm. Yeah, very. Uh, we are on Vocation Brewery Life and Death this week, IPA. 
Six and a half percent, not quite the, uh, the glorious highs of double hugs from last week, but still enough to give you a good old slap around the chops, I reckon. Yes, I'm well in for that. Uh, Rich, golden colour, tropical fruit around. It won't taste the fruit, it never does, it just tastes beer, don't it? <laughs> Actually, am I right, Darren, was it your birthday on Thursday? Uh, I believe... I was getting reading through the comments, and I thought it was. Yes, uh, that's what I mean. I, that that is suddenly triggered. So, happy birthday for Thursday, man! And uh, yeah, I hope you had a good one, or whatever you ended up doing. And uh, cheers for joining us again, Nay. Ah, oh, the pecs are on the whiskey sours. Oh man, it's just like all that. Mm. So, oh, and Amy Brown's on the fizz. We're like, it's good. A oh, tea Maria coffee, Tammy. Oh yeah, it's a bit. It's a bit good, isn't it? And warming. Mm. And yeah, everyone, yeah. Oh, God, I'm just seeing all these drinks and I wish I had them all in, in one, like, vase, actually. Maybe we could start on the vase. I think the music would take a downturn. Mm. If it can go any lower. Mm. Right. right. But anyway, thanks for joining us. It always surprises us that there's actually people here. Yeah. Um, Surprised that we're here. <laughs> yeah. What are we on? Like, is it in the... In are we in the internet? Or is it on the internet? Or on the internet? Are we in, a are we in the internet or are we on it? What? God. No, just, Surely it'd be the internet. I think we're ruining it. <laughs> right, let's play a song before... Uh, that hurts my brain anymore. The alternate. Right, I've got it on my little notes here. Professional. Mm. A few requests for uh, stereophonics last week. Stereophonics. I think Louisa, I don't know whether you're watching, but Louisa was one to call for it. Yeah. Thought we go for an old one. Like, I reckon we haven't done this five years, four or five years, something like that. Uh, right. Don't know why. It's a decent tune. <laughs> But I was going to need their words. <laughs> yeah, that, if you're an RPA fan, this is definitely worth, yeah, worth a go. Yeah. You've been spoiled, haven't we, recently? Too. Ready? Mm hmm. <laughs>
lovely, lovely band, and sometimes you just need a feel-good tune like that, don't you? Yep. Mm. Yeah, very cool. Feel-good tune for a feel-good beer, that's what we like. <laughs> All beers are feel-good, even, even the grim ones. <laughs> even like that, yeah. oh, no. Okay. Depends on your state of mind going in there. Uh, yeah, keep, keep it a quo stick, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> Phil's just pointed out that, that um, we've done the theme from The Office and now we've also done the theme from The Royal Family. It's theme tonight. night. There you go. That was mm -hmm. subconscious, but we'll take it. Mm -hmm. Planned. Yeah, well, we, we, we're very professional here and we like to keep a um, consistent gradient of um, things. Yeah. Um, mm, I'll tell you what. Well, well, because that was a sad... That was well, not sad, so it's quite nice. So it's melancholic. Melon, yeah. I, I Is love that, that a word? I love it on me roast. Um, but I, 
what I like this. Let's just do the good news thing. It's oh, always yeah. good to have some good news. Yep. Good news, everyone. Right. So I think it's important, especially during these times, to try and pick out some good things that have been happening. And I'd like to give a shout out to my good friend, our good friend, Jim Barber, who he's just been walking a lot, like a lot, a lot. Yeah, it sounds, you know, that makes it, oversimplifies it, I'd say that does. He's been... Uh, yeah. He, well, he's basically, it's like, a, it's like a virtual charity thing where you rack up the miles from Land's End to Jonah Groats. Jonah Groats. Yeah, John. Hi, John. Um, uh, which is quite far. It's like edges of the country. And um, in order to get a gold medal, you've had to do it in a certain amount of time. And I believe he did his last six miles today. No, I think he's left himself with two to go. I think oh, he's going to do like, the, 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 the victory stretch tomorrow, I think. But um, he's been raising money for uh, Tonic uh, Music for Mental Health, which is an absolutely outstanding charity but literally yeah he's just been walking to shore and by sea and back and it was just like oh jim how was your day and he's like i only did a short one just went to chichester and back and he's just like what yeah quick em emsworth stint struggle like to walk to asda like <laughs> so um but yes what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try and share the link to his just giving page where you can just see what you know just obviously it's there if you want to donate but just generally just have a look at the distance he's covered in in this, the amount of time, it's inspiring, to say the least. So well done, Jim. And he's a bloody good guitarist as well. He's one of them people that, when he's playing in a band, he just sort of makes that band better with his guitar playing, which is what you want, really. So, um, yeah, well done, Jim. Round of applause. This is a big one. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to find a big one, Jim. I definitely put them on. They're all going. There you go. I think that was a Boo Boo Seller on there. Did that go? Yes, there you go. The link is there. Uh, Should have left them in 2010, shouldn't they? Jesus. <laughs> yeah, Jim's road to somewhere. So, yeah, I like all that. Well done, Jim. Oh, that does mean we're in another song territory, right? Yeah, I was going to go back to Electric, but I've had a sort of about, I don't know, I've had a change of art on that. I think this next tune... Next, next song's song. a request. I can't, well, kind of. I think Bill was asking for some 10cc last week, and they're all really hard, apart from this one. It is the obvious one to do. But I thought I would uh, chuck this in anyway. It's I think it might sound better on acoustic, so let's do that. All right. Ready? No? <laughs> yeah, we're saying that, uh, yeah, this band have got some tricky songs. Let's see how this goes. You ready? One. Side of me, and all around in a state of fright. I said, Man, man, when brother from the gutter, they look me up and down a bit and turn to each other.
Dreadlock Holiday by 10cc. I'm just going to test out because our audience are being lazy on these ones, but I know. I don't blame them. Yeah, I check. I reckon there's something fishy going on. But come back to that. Have another got a, time. What's the auxiliary uh, audience? Just get Shaz and John to clap. All right. Uh, we have got, uh, yeah, we've got some international um, viewers in. So we, we still find it. Mind blowing that from our front room we're, we're reaching over Wallace, but a big hi to um, Frank from France. Hello, cheers for cheers for joining us, and also a big shout to to Lisa in America. And it still throws me that you're watching in the afternoon over there. <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah. I hope That's you're still true. drinking. Yeah, no, go, come on, get on it. <laughs> no, we're uh, alcoholics. No, uh, but um, yeah, ten cc, like a bit of that. Chaz is. It keeps saying Patricia Franklin is watching about 50 times. Do you want to, are you all right just checking that? Pat, are you all right? Or do you keep getting signed off? And if you need technical support, let us know. If you can just let off two green flares down Phoenix Square and we'll just come running to Hillsy and we'll sort you out, Pat. Don't worry about it. But if you're having difficulty, Pat, give, give Shazza a text. It'll be like The Rock. <laughs> oh, The Rock is such a good film. Um, <laughs> Sean Connery, beast. Um, I reckon it's been a while since we've played some kind of game. Mike, go on. So I'm going for it. I'm going for the game today. And the, the right. So first of all, shall we play a game? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right. It's game time. So I hope you're feeling imaginative. So the game is: Can you change? your own name a little bit to sound 
like a band or a singer. So the way to think about it is, if you were going to be a tribute band or a tribute singer to that act, what would your name be? Now, uh, my one, I, I was struggling with Nathan, but I went for Nathan Status. <laughs> uh, oh, right, I see, so you haven't got to use, like, it's only got to be, like, your first name, is it? It could be first or second name, but based on your name, can you slightly change it a bit to, to sound, uh, yeah, to sound like um, something else? So if your name was like Ross, I was thinking like Luther Van Ross. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. But second names count as well. I'm not going to be able to do another thing until I think of one for my own name now you've said that. Mm. Uh, Did you just come up with one for me quickly so I can move on? <laughs> uh, so we've got Hill, um, Rye, Harv. What about. It's got to be off the Rye thing, isn't it? Can, if you can help get Rye one as well, that would be. I've literally, I've got nothing. Got blank. It's, it's yeah, it's hard when you try to think really about horrible. it. It's really horrible. Let's go for. I just keep thinking Ryan in the bottleman, but that's rubbish. It doesn't yeah. work on any level, so we can't do that. Look, Credence Clearwater Revival? Revival. Re <laughs> 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 we have that's that. <laughs> <laughs> no yeah, one's going to come and see them, are they? Right. Um, Andy's gone for Andy DC. And DC. And Andy DC. Yes, I'm in. I like that. Andy's in the lead so far. Well done. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right, I've, I've lost track of what I was supposed to be doing now. Oh, um, we were going to play another song. Oh, we were going to do our one that we did for the, uh, the massacre last week, weren't we? That sounds bad, doesn't it? The St. Valentine's Day massacre. Yes. Yeah, we're going to do that? Yes. Let's do it live. Uh, for so, a change. Ryan Ferry. Yeah, we could have that. Chip. Yeah, Thank yeah, you very on. much, Caroline that. Grant. That's better than my one. Thank you. Ah, uh, Nina Cherry. Cherry. Nina. Yeah, Nina, Nina works on so many levels. Nina Cherry. However, uh, our Buffalo Stance is such a tune. I adore that song. Uh, it's, I don't, it's just, it's just like the grooviest song in the world. Um, oh, it's up there anyway. Ah, oh, they're all coming in. <laughs> Dan is Daniel Warhols. Yeah, I've started it now. Yeah, I'm so I'm going to try and catch these as they come in, but me and Roy always look through the comments tomorrow and we, we just crease up where, from the previous gig. So please chuck them in. I'll try and read them out if I can. All right. It's a slate tune. I want to laugh at you when you burn, because I love Turn my back on the things you lack Cause I love you And I just like those things you do So don't you change those things you do Get me in a spot with a smile you got But I love you Change those things you do. I know it's 
time will tell if we'll get on well Cause our love you No if ask me by can only sigh Cause our love you And I just like those things you do crying uh there's some great ones coming in already uh jason Foles with uh jason eat wells that works another one for you right which yeah, is on, um uh <laughs> what is it oh, i can't scroll up it is the um uh hang on <laughs> the rye drop explodes <laughs> oh i like that yeah yeah, yeah. I'm good for that yeah, yeah. Uh, uh dave shepherd with deaf shepherd oh that's shepherd. good yeah, I'd go like see that. that. I'd pay to see that, all right? Uh, <laughs> so. Oh, Colin Perio, the Periophonics. It just works. Let's do it. Let's start it. Uh, yeah, we're all, we're all there. We're all um, just to shout for the... So last week we mentioned that we, we put a video towards the St. Valentine's Day Massacre, um, which is a, a charity event. And... Uh, basically loads of bands put like a romantic uh, or love songs or songs about heartache in and uh, this year they did it online and everyone sent in these videos and some of them were absolutely genius it was hilarious the way the whole program was put together uh gotta give it uh old tom from fast trains he did an absolute 80s banger and i can't even remember the name of it but it's one of those that when you hear it you go tune and uh, andrew foster with his uh, mick hucknell was a much of a highlight as well. Yeah, uh, Leonie did a good... Yeah. Open, the opening... I only remember that I had had quite a lot of medicine last week and I only really remember the opening song. I don't remember ours. I had to rewatch it, Matt. <laughs> but, um, but um, the guy who runs it, Matt... He, he I do remember... I remember Tom's being really good now. I've got it. Yeah, uh, it was yeah, clever. Yeah. He looped it all up and stuff. It was very yeah. nice. But um, basically, Matt raised um, £3,000 for youth music, which is incredible. Really? So that gets a round of applause. Well done. Success. Right. Mm. Should we do another like 70s bit of glam, shall we? I was yeah. watching a documentary last night actually. Um, and I had all this kind of stuff. And I had some good tunes, didn't they? All that, that glam stuff. Wouldn't just... yeah. Let's yeah. play one of the obvious ones. Yeah. Because we're nothing if not predictable. Oh, that was it. Tom did hold me now. That was it. Oh. Thompson Twins. Yes. Yeah, good. It's an absolute tune. Done. Yeah. Might do some 80s later. Let's see what we get. <laughs> i 
T-Rex. I enjoyed going on a little noodle at the end. Yeah, I, I, I needed that, I think. Anthony Jones, the Rolling Jones. Yes, in. The only problem with these games is... Uh, There's no end to them. When no, you no go and try wins. and sleep later, there'll be new ones just keep keep coming in. And, uh, yeah, we, we, we often play them at the start of festivals. And... Uh, You'd just be like halfway through it, and then just it, even the people in the surrounding tents around her, you'll just hear like the odd, <laughs> the, the odd suggestion come out. Like, um, oh, all right, I'll screw even more action so that it turns itself on again. Wizard, I like all that. Ah, mm. uh, right, shall we? Do we know what we're doing, or do we need some thinking time? No, I think I was going to do... We'll get into some requests, I think. We'll do... Who do we have first? 
think Kate and Amanda requested a few tunes in the week, but I'm pretty sure they've probably done it on Wednesday, which is when they were having like their apocalypse annihilation kitchen session. Uh, where, you know, so I just, yes. I'd like to know what Thursday was like, actually. So I don't know whether Kate and Amanda remember requesting any of these, but I have got a couple of notes down, so let's do them. I start off with an obvious one, actually. Let's do. Yeah, go on in. Uh... From the kitchen carnage. Let's do it. Do it and put this in. All right. on the ceiling and um, yeah Pat it's still saying it's telling me that you're watching about every two comments so I hope you're right but um, yeah if you've got any if it's not working or something uh, give Shazza a text she might be able to help out it might just be my phone just going your nan's watching watch out yeah well that screen has been stuck and literally as I pointed at it it just started again typical yeah well that typical um, right, yeah, I no, enjoyed that. I like that one. Mm. Right, where are we going? Uh, I think Jim Barber's watching. Jim, we've already done a plug for all, all your walk-ins, but uh, nice one, nice one indeed, man, for 
nearly get into the finish line. Have you beat Benjamin Hackney yet? Hackman. Hackney. <laughs> yeah, go on then. Let's go for... Yeah, just go straight into another one. What one do you want to do, right? Oh, um, yeah, so that was... That was one of the kitchen carnage requests. I think it was a Nirvana one, wasn't it? Something like that. Oh, that's all right. Nan's okay. Oh, that's good. Cheers for letting us know. Right, this is a new one on me. You ready? Yeah. Uh, I like that, yeah. yeah bit, bit of Niviana. I like all that. Mm. Um, should we do an ad break? 
Yeah, let's do an ad break, and I shall do a beer feel. Right, it's our nod to uh, 90s breakfast television. Uh, we do play Who's That Pokemon uh, during the, either side of the ad break. But the thing is, due to the nature of this programme, there's no clues. So if you just want to comment in with a random guess, it'd be one of the original 150. Uh, I don't know, even know what one it's going to be. I'm going to go Onyx. Go I'm Onyx. going to get mine down in, yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to go Grimer. Let's see what goes Ooh. down. All right, see you after the ad break, everyone. Who's that Pokemon? You owe it to your ears to get one of our Caroline transistors. <laughs> no, but seriously, you really do get a better sound from Caroline transistors. They give out high-fidelity sound on medium or short-wave power, and they're fully guaranteed, too. But here's the main thing. These Caroline transistors are normally £6.10. But for Caroline listeners, that's you. They're just £4. You can't lose. Get your terrific two-band Caroline Transistor 6 right now. Order your Caroline Transistor 6 by writing to BCM, London, West 1, enclosing your name and address and a postal order for £4. Now, that's very simple to remember. It's just £4. To Transistors BCM London W1. It's Alex! No! Oh! Oh! Fuck it, I'm having that. Hey, congratulations. I mean, everyone in Finland has fits. What a win. Uh, you, you win um, a fridge magnet. Oh, excellent! Cool. Yeah, it, not not a Pokemon one, just like one with like a cor Cornwall <laughs> on it or something. We've got a few actually. We had Hannah with uh, Pikachu or Onyx, so that's edging your bits. But um, you know, she gets half a fridge magnet. Lizzie actually just put a flat out Onyx, so that's fair play. It's one and a half fridge magnet. Why, why is that Onyx so popular? Oh. I think it's quite random. But there you go. I reckon they thought it was all fixed, and therefore I might have been giving it. I, I no, don't know that. I don't know. I, no, I don't know what half these pads do anyway. So some people watching going, what the bloody? Yeah. What the, Bloody hell. That was an advert off Radio Caroline, by the way, uh, with the old Caroline transistor radios, uh, which I thought was very nice. And if, you, if you've ever seen the boat that rocked, um, yeah, Radio Caroline was a very saucy pirate radio station on a boat. Right, another request. Mm. Right. Is this for Darren? Yes, I think, that, I think Darren Carlin... Asked for this last week, we must have missed it. We also missed the fact that it was your birthday last week, so sorry about that. That was on Thursday. Or was no, that no, the... that was the first day, just oh, gone. Oh, I'm sorry. I think. So, this was, I hope you had a good birthday on Thursday. And uh, it's a bit late, but this is some Jake Bug that you asked for. I'm interested in it. Jim Barber's put, What do you call a Pokemon from Port C? I'm almost worried about it. Go on, oh, yeah, I'll look forward to that punchline <laughs> after this. <laughs> I'm worried. Um, uh, yeah, let's go two fingers. Drink to remember, I smoke to forget Some things to be proud of, some things to regret Gone down some dark alleys in my own head But something is changing, changing, changing I go back to Clifton to see my old friends The best people I could ever have met The skin of a fat one
Jake Earwig there. Yeah, I should say the only reason I know that is because we used to do that in a band with Ben Quelch, whose birthday, he used to sing it, but it's his birthday today as well, so happy I, birthday, I Ben. I should do a birthday, shouldn't I? We should do some oh, birthdays. It's his birthday, so uh, Darren, you're in for this as well, but it's Ben Quelch's birthday, one of our fellow bandians. Uh, and yeah, he did used to do a really nice version of that as well. He probably still does, whether he remembers it. So anyone whose birthday it is, this is for you. Joyeux anniversaire, joyeux anniversaire, joyeux anniversaire, Polly. Joyeux anniversaire. That's horrible, that one. Yeah, that was, that was French, French barbershop. Well, yeah, I, I got the language. <laughs> but, um, yeah, oh, yeah, there you go. It's quite, quite interesting, that one. It's like, uh, How haunting. We, sh we haven't done whiskey time yet. It feels off. Oh, yeah, come on, let's sort that out. Uh, That's a problem we can remedy. Let's do that. Right, everyone, it's whiskey time, but it doesn't matter whether you're, you're you know, any spirit of choice, um, just, yeah, just join us for it. It's whiskey time. Juice, Whiskey time with Ryan and Nathan. Mmm, that's juicy. That's juicy. Yes, we are. And, um... Side should we go for? Side one. Yeah. And but we're going to chuck on, chuck on a record, chuck on a lovely vinyl, and we're going to have a, a whiskey or some kind of spirit of everyone. Oh, oh, Tom's giving you some stick now because you're on a fancy beer. He's, he's no, 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 it's, uh, it's not a fancy beer, it's just in a fancy glass. It's oh, just trying to pull the wall over your eyes, Oh, Tom. no, he has already come in, or is that just a fancy glass, yeah? No. Wow. No, so we'll let you it's off. Good. Well, it's Amstel. I'd say it's one up from John Smith's uh, last week. <laughs> but it's, yeah, yeah. Still not up there. Uh, but while Tom Goebel's here, did anyone uh, watch our lovely video together for Honky Tonk UK uh, with uh, the fantastic Lauren Stanley and lots of other bloody lovely musicians uh if you haven't head over to the honky tonk party band well it's just honky tonk uk isn't it uh facebook page and tom if you want to plug it and share a link you can see a video of uh one of me drumming and another one with ryan singing Ty mother down which is pretty impressive especially as he was pretty hungover at the time <laughs> ah here we go uh, yeah, so we're chucking on the Gorillaz first album, which is just a banger. Uh, if you're, you're like, I don't, I don't think you can go that far without of hearing of the Gorillaz. Um, a Damon Alburn from Blur's you know, sort of uh, follow-on project, but their first album, oh, it's really cool. It's it's a bit more lo-fi than the other ones, isn't it? Yeah, I was shocked how old it was actually. I think it came out in 1999, and then I suddenly had this flashback of. 
I think I was at my first year in City Boys and queuing up down Woolworths to get this and I... Shaggy It Wasn't Me were my two choices. Needless to say, one has aged better than the other. Clint Eastwood was the single, wasn't it? Yeah, that was it. Um, that also... Did that have the 192000s Soul Child remix? No, it had a yeah. different, no, it had a different remix. Or did it? I don't know. No, I think it's in the album, actually, the Soul Child remix. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. But, yeah, it's a banging remix. Uh, uh, of um, yeah, 19 and 2000. I'd also say that there's a song called Rock the House on it and it's got the cheekiest brass line in, in the world and I would say if you want to treat yourself next time you go to a supermarket next time you're down Lidl's or whatever put this song on because it's the perfect like tempo and groove just to browse through shelves it's like oh I know what you mean yeah yeah kind of like and uh, uh, yeah, it's just it, I don't, it makes the whole experience more more welcoming. Um, yeah, so that's my top suggestion. Let's get the whiskey going. Oh, Ben Quelch is with us. Whee! Happy birthday! Oh, and there's praise for redneck woman. Yes, thank you very much indeed. Well deserved praise. Yeah, Lauren right. smashed that. Didn't she? We need to give. Um, right, as soon as we, oh yeah, go on. So oh, we need to give a special. We certainly do. Um, yeah, so this popped through the door in the week, which was uh, mighty kind. It says, thank you for being absolutely brilliant. So I'm assuming they've just... Uh, That's to you, right? That's to you. <laughs> <laughs> so they're obviously deaf. But, um... No, I dropped off a bottle of Monkey Shoulder, which is a cracking blended whiskey. That was uh, Dave and Michelle. Yeah. I think by way of thank you for tackling Aerosmith last week. And um, <laughs> also... While I'm here, Dave works in um, Tangiers Road um, kids, um, kids' Home and also missed a shout-out from Tracy Lee to give a shout to everyone there. So a massive shout to uh, everyone, you know, at uh, Tangiers Road uh, Kids Care Home. And uh, I know D Dave and Tracy work so hard and do such an amazing job there. So, um, yeah, absolutely. If I had a hat, it would be doffed. I right. do have a hat and I will doff it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but thank you very much indeed, uh, Dave and Michelle. Cook pop. Where are oh, yeah, it's a bit of a, a, bit of a rock there. Uh, if any of us, if any of you lot have also got spirits, let us know. <laughs> Colin with Aquavit. Oh, oh yes. Oh, that's the um, the Norwegian stuff. Isn't yeah. It? Oh, that's that's, oh, that's, 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 that's 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 hardcore. Well done, Colin. <laughs> Oh, oh, smell. oh, that smells nice. Production crew. I've got a little fact for it, actually. So, this is a bottle of monkey shoulder, and it's called monkey shoulder because when the workers were turning the malts using a massive shovel, shuffle, they used to get like a repetitive, repetitive strain syndrome in their shoulder, which used to drop. Yeah, it used to drop, so they had one shoulder higher than the other. One shoulder, so it's quite brutal, really. Yeah. yeah. But that's why it's called monkey shoulder. Was it worth the effort, though? It's smooth, it's one of them dangerous whiskies. Ah. Oh. That is one of those that you could brush your teeth with that. You could do, could you? Yeah, I mean... I might. Yeah. Could be a ten-minute version of uh, That's Entertainment to finish this gig. Thank you so much. Josh, they were class when they played the Guild Hall. Yeah, they're just... They got, they got their stuff together, man. This is a tune. It's got a proper grimy riff, isn't it? I love this. Yeah, filthy. Where are we actually going? Song-wise? Yeah, song-wise. I, mean... I reckon we should do... I reckon we should go to... Oh, we've got... The, the nothing in Right, yeah, we're going to get some more tunes. I hope you're well old, and once again, thanks for joining us down our virtual pub. Mike Marder on the Hay Club. Yes. Like it, yeah. Love yeah. it. Uh, makes me want to, like, get a kill, just to, like, get really into it. Yes, shall we cut the tune? 
Yeah, can we cut the cut the music? Thank you very much to uh, dedicated production crew, Father <laughs> Father John Hill on production and cameras. That's getting an all round round of applause. Yeah, yeah. Tom, John, John, John. Mm. I'm just on my guard. I know, I know Shaz is going to stage invade at one point, but I don't know what song it's coming. So I'm, I'm just on my guard for when she pounces. I know. Yeah, let's do this. Right, so we had a little go at scoring up the strings to Bittersweet Symphony the other day. So By we, Ryan. <laughs> I might have added a tambourine or a clap, maybe. So I've had the, the laptop orchestra out again. I thought I'd try and score up the strings for this, which actually turned out to be a lot harder than the other one, which I wouldn't have thought, but there we go. Yeah, I should give a shout, actually. Both the, the strings for Bittersweet and um, for this one as well, they're, they're not downloaded. They they're, they're made from uh, scratch. So, yeah, fair play to Ryan. Ah, oh, oh, Jimmy Roman's watching. Hey. The legendary drummer. Chief. Um, yeah, all right, all right, Chief, man. Good to see you. And uh, yes, uh, I had many, many amazing lessons off that man, and I definitely wouldn't be banding as much. Uh, well, I wouldn't be playing in a front room like this if it wasn't for him <laughs> very much keeping on it. So thank you, Jimmy. Uh, I, I've had this ties in. I was very lucky to have you as a teacher. So there you go. Ready?
living in my liberty It's just a change in the something in my liberty after a monkey shoulder. Mm -hmm. Most things are. Yes, beautiful, beautiful song. Urban Hymns is just one of them albums, isn't it? Mm. It's not bad. It's definitely not bad. Mm. Right, Should we straight into another tune? Yeah, nice one. Uh, I think this was 25 years old yesterday. Um, yeah, which makes me feel old. I wonder what that is. is in dog years. <sighs> At least 26, I'd say. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's another one I remember buying the single. Normally play at the end, don't we? But whatever.
That's Cara goes. Cara loves it. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. No, yeah, after the... Let's find out where they've gone. Oh, no. Throws a new surprise at you every week, doesn't it? Yeah. Something, something will break. Uh, take, take we're trying look. to... We're tr can you hear me, Judge? That's, I I'm can. here live. That's not, I'm not a cat. <laughs> Uh, we're all not cats. Oh, yeah. Especially Thanks very much for everyone who's still with us, by the way. Putting up with our nonsense. You hardcore lot. Yeah. Oh, I've got something. Go on. Right. So, we're going we're gonna to go for uh, another cheeky game. Really quick one. Shall we play a game? <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, yeah, we're going to play Name That Sound. Uh, so I'm going to play this sound, and um, if anyone can um, get what it is, then, um, yeah, please comment in. go yes see what see answers on a postcard it's an easy one. Oh, do we go for should we do a bit should we do um, rowdy one should we do hate to say things yeah come on then right i haven't done i can't remember the last time we've done this but uh, we were watching a hives gig the other day because they've been live streaming some stuff every now and then yeah, and i just fan fancy to go at this one but ugh, probably go wrong they all go wrong <laughs> Let's give it some beans. Yeah. I think I got it. I have to make the words up. We'll, we'll do it.
So that song is littered with stops of various different uh, yeah. lengths and places. I think collectively we got them all, just not at the same time. No, yeah, yeah, but no, definitely, definitely, definitely got them all. Right, what have we got? Oh, we got uh, Aura Walbrus, Chewbacca in the Rain. Chew oh, I've got a fact, actually. This is a bit of a, a tangent, but this is my fact of the day. Uh, just because Kelly's put Chewbacca in the rain. Do you know that goats aren't waterproof? And that sounds like complete pants, but it's actually a thing. So if you've got like a horse or a cow, they're waterproof, but goats aren't officially waterproof. So if you, if you do keep them, you've got to keep them undercover. But I just thought, what a basic skill not to be like when, when um, like Noah was handing out the, 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 the animal powers when they were making them all. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, I, whoever did, I don't know. But um, yeah, it's just like goats must have been like, what, what do you mean we're not waterproof? Surely we're going to be outside. Mm. But yeah, look it up. It's a thing. Uh, right. Back to the game. Um, it's not actually Chewbacca. It's actually uh, a cupboard. If you listen closely, it's actually just a cupboard door. But if you YouTube Chewbacca Cupboard, you can see for yourselves. But that was being a bit naughty, that one. Uh, borderline mean. Yeah, borderline mean. Um, yeah, this, 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 I, this is just one I'm just going to leave out there. If anyone gets where this, this sound is from a song. Uh, and if it, I, I don't know even why I'm doing it, because it's so, <laughs> it's so random, but it made me laugh anyway. If you, if you can get where this uh, sound is from in this song, then just well done. Uh, that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Play, play it one more time. Uh, we we'll see, we'll see, I'm interested. Strange. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, need a coat for your goat, Jimmy, you're right. Go on, let's go for a, uh, another tune. Well, this is another request, and it's a really hard one, especially after you've had a few beers and a whiskey, because it's got a lot of words in it. Oh, God, yeah. It's really hard. Let's just see. <laughs> Andy, it's a trap. Yeah, sorry, mate. It's yes. a trap. It's a trap. <laughs> yeah, this one's... This is another one. Why have we got all the ones with lots of different stops in? Uh... Uh, yeah, yeah, I think this is um, after a few drinks. It's hard. Right. I would have done this when they decided to cancel Victorious last year. That was the last time I've done this, I think. <laughs> right, you ready? No, I'm not ready at all. But we'll have a go. Yeah, yeah. Ready? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat>
For a while there I was thinking, yeah, but what if Picture myself in a new beer, hot and quite hot wit Hearing you as I was standing there opposite Whether or not you knew it, I don't think you clicked And when you was there and found it behind us I liked you and I was waiting for you Yeah, and I had to admit Yeah, yeah, I do think you are really fit And I do want it, but my... I stopped sharking for a while to get chips and drinks I'm not trying to bore you Even though I would like to I think you are really fit Feel for my gosh, can you just know I'm not trying to bore you Even though I would like to I think you are really fit Feel for my gosh, can you just know it I managed to drop that and not break anything valuable.
Not used to drum solos in the house, are you? Yeah, that's lively. <laughs> oh, it's usually, uh, it's usually less valuable stuff around. Like, uh, like Mikey's amp and Ben's guitar. <laughs> yeah, just human value. Well, that was good fun. Uh, I may have dropped a stick, but no one noticed that. No, no, no one, one noticed. It was was not. It was it, it wasn't obvious. It was very subtle. Um, while we were doing that. I need to give a shout to um, John Dyer and Terry Ward, by the looks of it. I'm just checking. I, was I only caught it in the glimpse of my eye, so I'm just, I'm just scrolling up. But... I'm struggling uh, with the comments. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yes. Um, oh, Superman. Laurie Hansen. Did anyone get that? Oh, Superman. Is, I would have thought Tom Wells if anyone would have got that. I, oh yeah. Um, just, if he would, I bet. I bet his his sense just went off. But Terry and John, and apologies if there are any more. I still think though, <laughs> they could have. Um, you know, she could have maybe jazzed it up a little bit. Like if I had been drumming on that song, I would have maybe go for a lot of Latin. <laughs> Well done. Great ears. Yeah, he did. Tammy Martin. <laughs> I didn't know. I am not surprised. I, I was Is that a good thing? Or, I think that's a good thing. Yeah. Well right done, Tom. We love Tom. Oh, that's amazing. That's like uh, another 200% more people that got it. Um, yeah, there we go. I'm, I'm enjoying this. I want to do this. to go but also no end the only way is down yeah. the only way is down we're fucked Colin loved it well done yeah we're there uh, but yeah that's generally a dud <laughs> <laughs> what is going on thank you for sticking with us um, during, during all of this um this says Tom, proper chuckling. <laughs> 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 nice one, man. Yeah, well, I think we've all learned a valuable lesson. Don't let, don't let us with um, instruments. Do you, yeah, or, or an audience. Yeah, no. Don't let us near anything. Well, we've got a few more that we need to get in. Yeah, go on. Right. Uh, let's go for my phone. Let's, let's get some Beatles in. Yeah. Let's get some Beatles. <laughs> I feel like... Uh, We've got to try and get that intro a little bit better than, oh. what, we did, than what we did last week. Yeah. <laughs> Just like... I say that, I'm, I haven't played this phrase. Yeah. Uh, so, what I'll do, rather than the usual Beatles one, I'm just going to hit a random one of um, this section of... Uh, yeah. So oh, 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 yeah, you, you just... Lacey, I'm going to yeah, have that song as my ringtone. We're good, we're good, we're good. We got it, we got right, it, I so think. I'm going to count in after whatever random pad this is. Okay. All right. Let's do it, let's do it. All right. Um. Go ahead. Make my day. <laughs> Can't buy me love.
Another Beatles song, Ruin. Yeah, we're good at that. Um, yeah. <laughs> A gift from the Emperor! That's not what I meant. That's so random, that one. Oh, well, the moment's gone, but... And I've just seen Lucy's watching, and she's a Beatles fan as well, so there you go. Watching me murder him, sorry. Yeah. No. This needs to stop. <laughs> <laughs> that, dude. It's not quite an applause. Um, yeah, well, um, it's, been, it's been one another one of those... One, another one of those really fun nights, so thank you very much. We've got a few more, um, but... It is still just massively appreciated how many of you sort of join us on these random adventures. Shall we? Yeah, should we go for Shaker? Yes, Whoa. let's do that. Oh, just, do we need to go? No, I think I'll do that. Let's do it. The words should be fine. It's the chords that are going to throw me. I've just realised it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so this is one that Ryan <laughs> usually plays bass on. He's playing to the nice people. And I do believe it was Mr. David Shepherd which has requested this. So no, it was Michelle that requested this. Michelle requested this. Uh, Dave requested the drum solo. Yeah, um, there's no way I was going to drum like thingy thingy. I, I did watch some of his stuff, and that was mind blowing, man. Uh, but yeah, cheers. I just hit some stuff instead. Hopefully, that's okay. Ugh. Right. I'm hoping on some level this will just come to me, but no, no, that never happens, does it? When you when you sort of rely on that, you sort of let's, let's go for it. Right, this is one from the Mojo set, lovingly pikey. Ready? Yeah. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Perfect. 
Right, I think that's yeah. technically it for what we got planned, but we do a few more. Yeah, I hope, you, I hope, you, I hope, yeah, I hope you're dancing at home with us. Uh, people aren't bored. Yeah. Yeah. Might even pour myself another whiskey. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. What have we got going on? See me through these layers of cheese. <laughs> Sounds like we've had some dancing. Dancing on... Um, uh, shall we do, yeah, what should we, should we do another cheeky one? I feel, yeah, like, we, so I feel like we've got a couple. I think we need to do a quick thank you to uh, Andy and Alex, actually, for dropping this off. Uh, oh, yes. Bottle of rum, which they dropped around yesterday. Which we, I mean, officially we can't do, it's whiskey time, we can't break the rules. We, we, you know, it's been, it's been before the committee, but we're looking forward to getting tucked into it anyway. So, cheers, Andy and Alex. It's bloody, bloody... I know there's a few people on the rum tonight, so we'll be joining you later. Oh, yeah, the, the, rum, is, the rum is coming out. And, um, the rum has come. Mm. And uh, also, Bob here, I'd like to thank everyone that has been um, donating to our, our virtual buskin hat GoFundMe page. Yeah, thank that, you. That, it, honestly, it still surprises me every time. So fa thank you very much. For, literally, we're happy, we're happy anyway, but even if we get a pint each out of it, when we can go and buy a pint... That's amazing. But yeah. there, there is a link at the top of the page if you do, and that's, that's really, really good here. It's, um, what about Holt? Yeah. 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 And um, I think there's some for Sabian. Right, this one's for, um, this one's for Lacey, because I know she likes a bit of Holt. So let's go for this. What's that? What's that awkward face for? Come on, come on! What's that awkward face oh, for? Chaz, go on, Chaz, what is it? Hang on, hey, we got. Okay. Hello, Hello Rosie. Rosie. You're right. Late to the party, Rosie. God. She came from Greece. She had a thirst for knowledge. She studied sculpture at St. Martin's College, that's where I got her eye. She told me that her dad was loaded. I said, in that case, I'll have rum and cola. She says, fine. And then in 30 seconds time, she said, I want to live like common people. Ever common people do Wanna sleep with common people Wanna sleep with common people like you But she didn't understand She just smiled at my head I took her to a supermarket Don't know why but I had to start it somewhere So we started So pretend you got no money And she just laughed and said Just so funny I said yeah But I can't say now smiling Are you sure? You wanna live like common people You wanna see whatever Common people see You wanna sleep with common people You wanna sleep with Common people like me But she did I understand She just smiled Sing along with the common 
that's Jim saying I've, I've had my ends, ends trimmed. It looks tidy. Uh, yeah, Shaz is actually a hairdresser. So I, <laughs> I've, got, I've got a pass, I'm afraid. So, uh, yeah, I've got away with it. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's not <laughs> as tidy as it could be. Uh, just because I... But, think, oh, the duck's name is Philip. Yeah. <laughs> Philip the duck. That, that's All as right. exciting as it gets in our house, I'm afraid. It's going a bit stir-crazy. A bit? <laughs> oh, Blackadder, what do you think of the pandemic? We've been sitting here since Christmas 1914, during which millions of men have died, and we've advanced no further than an asthmatic ant with some heavy shopping. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, Blackadder knows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> she has is itching. She's just waiting for us to drop our guard, Nathan. She's going for. I think she wants the gin. If we just right. get out of the way and just let just her lob it yeah. Like, yeah. and run. Uh, yeah, it is that point where you sort of realise. Yeah, do you know what? We're. Um... <laughs> yeah, Shaz, we're, you've got some appointments Shaz coming and John. in. You've got some appointments coming in, Shaz. You've got some hair. You know. Oh, Ben, I saw your hair today. It was like a proud lion's mane. You should I love keep it. it. You should stick with it. You look really bandy. <laughs> Happy birthday, mate, if you yeah. were watching earlier. Uh, I'm not sure if this, what, if I've had this or what this is going to do, but I hit one off. <laughs> Pesky bee. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was perfect for Ben. Hit it again. <laughs> oh, no, this is reminding me. I know what this one is. A little baby pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. I knew this. I knew there was something. Yes. Yeah, proud of that. Um... Oh, we've got to ruin all this nonsense with a song. What are we going to do? Uh, do you want to do... One, one, <laughs> pesky B? Pesky B? Yeah, give me one more Pesky B, please. Just... I'll do it. Uh... <laughs> pesky B? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Love right. It. I love it. Well, Go on. Then. Shall we... I think someone asked for... Fire, but we've got loads of others in the bucket. What do you fancy playing, Rob? What are you thinking? Um, something that's not screaming. Oh, yeah. What have we got? Yeah. I don't know. You pick one. You pick one. Just do anything. Just, it could be a random tune. Should we go for a roundabout? Let's go yeah. for. I really like the. Um, what are the name ones? The last. Is that doable? Yeah, yeah, we can go there. Yeah. Jim Barber. Mm. Yeah. All right, Jim, this is for you, mate. Who loves on so? Yeah. Baby Jim. Right. It might take me a little while just to. A little bit of tuning. Time. All right. We can. We can. That's manageable. Yeah, we got it. Mm. <laughs> Laura, Ben is crying. <laughs> and uh, I, love, I love it that you're making a, a dance floor, Laura. That's what I mean. Dance is not banned in your own home. Make the most of it. Go on, let's have a sing song. This song always makes me feel good. So. <laughs> Cheers, all.
Can that do yeah, we do. Oh, let's see what this one is. Back of the net. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do. That'll do. Uh, weirdly, I think I've realised why some of the pads are working. I think they were a part of old band sessions, and the, those pads are rooted to the sub out. So there's uh, something about Ronnie right, Lane in that song has made me go on. That's why, because I know the, so the sounds are on there, but they're coming at the wrong output. And uh, musicians, you'll know my pain when you just go, oh, it's rooted the wrong place. Live and learn. If I, I wish I knew what I knew now, slightly before this gig. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, mate. Well done, Ronnie. Oh, good tune, that, isn't it? Yeah, oh, it's a great song. Um, should we go for one last one? Yeah, should we just stick with the theme and should we do a, should we do a Marriott tune? I feel if you're going to do like a Ronnie Lane tune, you've got to do a Steve Marriott tune. So yeah, I think it's right. In fact, I've just picked this up, but I've... Kind of need this again, I think. Ah. Do that, I'm all over the place. All over the place, don't know what I'm doing. Feel good tunes. I don't, I don't actually know what's coming. Yeah, I do. I do know what's coming. Got some BVs to do on this song. What? Oh. No, you didn't. You ain't a skew. For Mitch, if he's watching. One, a two, a one. Over bridge of skies to rest my eyes in shades of green. Under the evening spies to Ichiku Park, that's where I'll be. What do we do there? We got hurt. What do we feel there? Where I cry as so my tears there.
To blow my mind, get hung up, he could talk to me. Mitch is actually watching. Mitch, hey, you're legend. Hey, yeah, we've got, got it in. in. Mitch at Coo Park. That was for you, Mitch. Um, is that the end? Should we do one more? Yeah, one more go on. If you're up for it, if you've got nowhere to be... Should we do... Uh, let's, do let's, let's do a rocker to finish on. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, we see nearly 50, 50 people watching. I'll tell you what. What we'll have to do is... When, when we can get back together in real life at some point, we'll have to try host a bit of a do and actually get many of us together that can relatively, you know, don't have to travel miles and miles. Uh, we'll do a gig. Are you we'll saying Lisa from Minnesota isn't invited? Well, no, you're more than welcome to <laughs> get on the old hovercraft and, you know, pop over. Uh, but, yes, we'll try to do an in-person one. And... Uh, and who knows, if, we, if the internet's good enough, we may even be able to stream it. Let's see what happens. Oh. I reckon some MJ's got to go in next week. Should we do it? Actually, hi, my name's Nathan, and I'd like to request some Michael Jackson for next week's gig. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Does, I doesn't have to be not? that song, but I might have to play it anyway. I might put that in. Lisa's up for. She's coming over. Woo. Short journey across the Atlantic. There you go. Yeah, come on. That's it. Uh, we'll try not be rubbish. We're honest. We'll make it worth it. Right. <laughs> Thank you so much again. Here's a pineapple shaz. It'll have to do. It's all I've got. I sure do. Come on. Singing ba 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 da ba 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 da ba 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 da ba 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 da ba. Yeah. 
Thank you so much. We hope you've had a lovely time. Thank you. We have, and I can't find the, the bit that makes it look like there's an audience. Yeah! Thank you. <laughs> You're marvellous, thank you. Round of um, applause for John as well. Bit of an unsung hero. Yes! That'll do, that'll uh, do. Uh. John, John, John. <laughs>